Hey everybody, it's me, Lindsay Malloy, and welcome back to my channel. This week I am planning um, the week of May 28th to June 3rd. And this week I wanted to do something um, a little differently. It's gonna be a no Etsy kit, but I wanted to just use stickers and supplement, of course, um, from this new sticker book, um, that I got from Joann's, and if you haven't seen, I had hauled this in my Joann's, um, jo Joann's planner haul, and this is from um, American Crafts, and it is curated by Dear Lizzie. And the scheme I wanna stick with is kind of like spring colored, um, some stickers right here, like this pink, this little light teal, and this kind of spring green. So these colors right here. Um, and then I want to supplement a little bit with some additional stickers. Um, so, like for these, I want to add in a few of these. Um, one orange snowflake mason jar summer stickers, and I got these forever ago. Um, this is an old sheet, and then I loved it so much that I had to get a second one, so I might try and use these pink ones um, and, and incorporate those ones a little bit, not so much the yellow. Then I am going to also use probably this lighter color, the lighter muted color, um, whatchamacallits, habit trackers. And this is from Scribble Prints Co. Um, then I have some grab bag leftover things. Um, I wanna use this weekly tracker for my sidebar um, for the week. And this was just in like an oops grab bag. And then I'm thinking I might use the rest of these up as my calls, um, where I'm gonna put my calls at the top of each day. So that is what I am going to use. Also, I just wanted to remind you, if you haven't seen in my last video, um, it, I believe it was the last plan with me, yeah, um, where I showed my latest insert, and it was this cycle tracker which I do use I do have it in here in my planner and this is a women's um, cycle tracker where you can track many things I kind of have like a mock-up one here where you can track different things for each day of your cycle um, it's pretty easy and straightforward I've got some pictures um, on the Etsy shop so I will link down below our my Etsy shop and you can check that insert out um, and also check out my blog because that's where I go into detail more about that insert and why I created it so I would be super super happy and grateful um, if you check that out now I'm gonna do the fast forward and get started with planning all right so I'm starting out with this fine little day um, full box from the Dear Lizzie sticker kit um, because I wanted to kind of just um, block off this day since it was a day off from work. I didn't want to have a bunch of to-dos, so it's more of a memory keeping day. So I used this little Coffee Monster emoji, um, just eating a slice of watermelon and then hand lettered the words day off and then Memorial Day on the full box. Then for Tuesday through Friday, I use these red today headers, which I actually end up taking off because I don't like, the colors didn't quite go with the rest of the stickers that I was using, um, and I felt like it clashed a little bit too much, so I actually switched those out for some glitter headers here, but I am using these um, ombre heart checklists with this rose gold sparkle back splattered background and these are from scribble prints co this was from a grab bag um, and I loved having 
it's definitely a grab bag I'd get again um, just because the randomness was in there but I definitely used all the stickers in that grab bag which is kind of rare because I like getting grab bags um, and usually it's not always the greatest stuff in the grab bag so um, now across the bottom I am just putting in these little asterisks again these are from dear Lizzie and those are what I will use to signify what we had for dinner that night. And I fill that in as we go. Um, I do more of my planning um, separately from this. Um, I have a list on the uh, right next to Sunday on the on the second page, but we'll get into that later. Um, over here on the left on the sidebar, I am putting a little remember header and this little um, weekly was also from Scribble Prince Co. from that grab bag. Um, so it was just one of the randoms that fit perfectly in there. So here is where I decide that I did not like the headers too much so I wanted to try and find um, some glitter headers to use and these glitter headers are from Scroll Prince Co. and I end up using the teal um, glitter headers up at the top because I felt like they matched the fine little day full box at the beginning of the week. Then for my to-do lists, I decided to use glitter headers again instead of a header from the Dear Lizzie kit. Um, and I'm using the heart checklist from the Dear Lizzie kit. So um, I used this muted pink, which I think really is blends in well with the um, full heart checklist above them. And I love this kind of, it, it, this, this kit, this uh, spread kind of turned into this teal, blush pink, and bright yellow with pops of darker reddish stuff in there, which I think was really cute. Um, so now I'm just pulling in some deco pieces. I cut up a piece of, cutting up multiples of these um, full boxes, and I am use th using them on Friday and Tuesday. Then I wanted to pull in this cute little deco sticker with the little birds. Um, I felt like it brought in that color um, yellow that I end up actually adding accents of throughout the rest of the spread. Here's a piece of, it's almost like bunting or something um, that I didn't have a half box that I usually use to put in my um, gym workouts, the days that I wanna go to the gym. Um, I was fiddling with this, I was struggling to get this thing straight. But, um, so I end up using that and kind of making a full box almost with the space. Then I use the remainder piece over on the sidebar um, underneath that, remember to kind of carry out that yellow across the page. These currently reading stickers are from Minted Papery, and each week I like to add in um, what I'm currently reading at the time. Um, I just started a new book this week, so, because um, I was expecting to finish a book last week, and I did on Thursday, so um, I'm actually reading Dark Matter now. Um, added in three habit trackers. Those again are from Scribble Friends Co. Just um, from the colorful collection. Then added in um, a little quarter box um, that I had to cut down and adding some once more with love 
um, icons, little doodles in there, and then this little planning set I also have from Once More With Love, as long, along with the planning time lettering. Came with on one sheet of the sticker paper. Then I'm adding the remainder piece of that full box that I used on Tuesday with the birds um, and kind of carrying over that bird theme going on. And then I add another strip of this washi from the Dear Lizzie sticker book um, with little bunnies on a pinky peach background. Um, then I didn't, I wanted to use more of Monday as a memory keeping spread. So I moved that little Polaroid camera sticker over to the sidebar and then I put on this um, lined tag sticker and covered up the little hole with a um, gold foiled star then moving on to the weekend and then all of the lists um, I end up adding two full boxes up at the top the hooray it's today and then this teal script one and then I wanted to carry over that beautiful beautiful color um, pink color over to the right side and so I used this um, give today the chance to be the best um, circle quote sticker um, and then added I had to white out over there on the right and by the priorities um, the lines because that sticker was a clear sticker so you could see some of the lines behind her face I thought it was pretty cute so now I'm just adding in little bits of deco, trying to see what will work where on these list areas and just kind of going through and seeing how I want to cover up the words happy thought and happy mail. Um, I didn't really, I'm not 100% in love with those scripts on the box. They aren't quite centered. So um, I used this little piece of, it's like a little flag from the Dear Lizzie kit, it was yellow. And then I pull that bird um, print back over and hand letter happy thought on the yellow there. And I think that turns out really cute. I really like how that looks. And it kind of just adds a little bit more to the kit. I brought over more of those glitter headers and um, used this little uh, once more with love from a Scribble Prince Co. sampler and wrote in my happy mail. Just doing the same things over here on the right side, um, covering up the areas where it had the text um, with similar um, little prints that I had used on the previous page. Then over here, I wanted to use this gold foil to-do list for my dinners. Um, added in another little clear accent pieces here and there. Um, in order to make it so it be for my dinners, um, I used a teal washi strip that um, I just covered up the to-do on there. And then I ended up using a little dinner box, but I cut out the word dinner instead of using the whole box there and put that in there. Then just covering up the don't forget section, I wanted to have an area for things that I need to buy that week just to remind myself, so I added that in there. All right, I think that is all um, that I am going to place down today. Um, so I put down, um, it, it kind of has this whimsical feel about it, and I definitely feel like I want to somehow pull some more yellows up here on the left. I'm just not sure how I'm going to do that. I'm wondering if I should maybe replace the hearts 
with hearts, but in yellow. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if that would be too much yellow then. Um, Cause it might be, it might be too much. Mm, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it the way it is and then just kind of get a feel for it for the rest of the week. Cause all of this will be filled in with text. Um, and then throughout the week, I'll add in some more of my little character stickers um, that I have here. And then, um, it, so it'll kind of look a little bit fuller than it does now. Um, so for my sidebar, I kind of, uh, I just used, I used three habit trackers, which I've been loving having lots of habit trackers lately. It definitely makes me feel um, really excited to be able to color in a day, uh, which is what I do. Um, I have my quick little happy memory um, or thankful thought box here, and then I put what book I'll be currently reading. I'm not filling this in yet because I think I'm pretty close to finishing a book and I'm hoping I can just finish it this weekend. Um, so I might get to pick a new book for this week. Um, this day is Memorial Day, so I wanted to have um, kind of a clearer space with a full box that I thought was really cute, a little um, emoti from the Coffee Monsters Co. and just some a little bit of my own hand lettering to signify Memorial Day and then it's, I have the day off. And then I wanted to just put somewhere where I could put some memories um, and just chat a little bit about things that we did on this Memorial Day. Um, and then at the bottom, I just used these little asterisks um, and those were just little from the little icon page here, this little teal ones, um, to mark dinners. Um, and then every day is kind of pretty much similar. I just have, um, I split up that, um, the Scribble Prince Co. kind of glitter pinkish top, um, which I had used in a separate um, spread a long time ago, but these were my leftovers. And I thought it'd be perfect time to kind of have a pinky spread where I could pull those in because I really only had three. So there's, there's not many weeks where I would only use three, but since this was a four day week, um, I had less calls, so I didn't have to use so many, um, rows, especially on Monday. So yeah. Then um, every day I have my to-do list and I started out with using these headers from the booklet but they weren't quite wide enough and I felt like it was too much red so I wanted to pull in more teal and I feel like that looks so much better. I use glitter um, glitter headers from Scribble Prince Crow and that was just like a glitter header set that I had re uh, purchased a while back actually. Um, so yeah, I think this page is pretty cute. I think I'll probably add something here. Um, I'm not sure yet. I, I don't know if I wanna add more washi or if I want to put maybe laundry day in there. Um, I need to find like a laundry, we'll see. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. <laughs> I just wanted to leave a little bit open for the week. Um, here, I think this one is super cute. I love the colors. I love the pops of yellow and the teal here. Um, so again, on the weekends, I don't know what's gonna go on for this weekend. So I'm just gonna leave it a little more open and then I'll fill it in as the week progresses. Um, and then I um, redid the happy thought and then I changed this to my happy mail area. I like to track if I get any stickers in the mail um, or when I might get any packages um, that aren't stickers, of course. <laughs> and yeah, so, and then I've got my space for to-do lists and a spot to, if I need to buy something, maybe on Amazon, I wanted to um, have a spot there and try that out. And then I'm gonna try using the th priority section. I haven't been doing a great job of using this page at all, really. Um, but I have been use doing a good job of filling out this part. So if you have any ideas on what I could use or replace this area with, I mean, since I have my to-do list every day, this kind of doesn't work for me. So I don't, I don't really know what I wanna do here. I wonder if I might just use this as a notes section rather than a to-do list 
and then just maybe have a space where I can brainstorm ideas or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, I think this one is pretty cute. It's pretty whimsical. This won't look as bare later because once I fill it in with all my to-dos, it definitely gets filled in. Um, and then I really quick, I just wanted to take you through the previous week um, and kind of what that looks like as it's the week is progressing. Um, and this is the end of the day, um, Thursday. So that's when I am filming my plan with me. And so this week, which I can fill in my vitamins because I did that today. There's my dog Dakota shaking your head in the background. <laughs> um, been horrible with the working out yesterday. Actually um, worked a little bit at my grandparents' house because the, um, what are they called? I forget what they're called. But the Air Force was graduating and they have the um, jets, the like show jets that they go around. I can't remember if they're Falcons. I forget their name. I know the Blue Angels. Those are for the Navy. My dad was in the Navy, so I know them, but I don't remember um, the Air Force ones. I can never remember, even though I've been living in Colorado, Southern Colorado and Colorado Springs area for 12 years. I mean, gosh, Lindsay, get your, get your stuff together. Anyways, um, so yeah, I've just added in, you can see I've added in a few emojis here and there. Um, and then again, I haven't used this page like at all. So I'm not sure what to do with this because I don't know. What do you do with this? So I'm loving how this part works out, but not so much this part. This is great. I don't know, is there a way, maybe I should make one that's just like a three fold out B6, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but um, I'm loving the inserts, I'm just, I've got some wasted space, I don't know what to do here. So, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed that quick little, um, probably not so quick, playing with me, um, and I, hope you enjoyed that and come back next time so make sure you subscribe so you can see me in your subscription box every time i post a new video i post one or two times a week and yeah i will see you next time bye